I have a confession to make before I start this video. Of all the cheese platters I've ever tried, I hate to say it, I don't mean to um, like dunk on people that have normal grocery stores. The Trader Joe's one is just the best. It doesn't even cost more. But by far, the cheese platter. Mm. Perfecto. That is good. Hmm. Wow. So, today I'd like to answer a question that came from the Discord in response to the e-bike video that I did yesterday. I was talking about how Bosch was not making things available for people to be able to fix their own system. Whereas, if you were to buy a system from EM3EV, they'll send you a new BMS. If you buy a Bafang motor, you can buy the rotor, the stator, the nylon gear, the larger gears. If you buy a controller from ebikes.ca called a phase runner, you get access to the software that allows you to modify the PID loop, see all the codes and everything like that, and why I thought that was a bad thing. This letter that came in the Letters to Lewis channel in the Discord it, it poses a good question that I'd like to answer. It says, I think there's two categories of potential e-bike riders. People who want a motorcycle but cheaper and more versatile, you, and people who want a bicycle but easier to ride, me. In Australia right now, one of those whole categories is banned. And so a bunch of people are driving cars who might choose to ride if it was faster. I don't want fast e-bikes banned, but if they were unbanned and no distinction was made between bikes like yours and bikes like mine, I think there'd be more crashes on sidewalks and bikeways. The vast majority of e-bike and scooter riders are courteous and slow down on shared paths, but every time an asshole doing 40 on the sidewalk knocks a grandma over, more people who've never ridden an e-bike decide they're all dangerous. I understand why companies producing pre-built e-bikes and scooters, or parts for them, want to distance themselves from that by making it as difficult as possible to delimit their devices or change the acceleration parameters. I'd like to see us get away from the situation where people perceive them as safe only because they are supposedly all slow, but that's going to require everyone with a really fast e-bike that has a discipline to slow the F down when conditions require it. The way you ride might be illegal, but it's not dangerous. It would be interesting to have that option here. So how do you fix something like this? How do you deal with this as the case? And I understand this being the case um, because I've been on both sides of this. I have rode an e-bike that I wish was legal in New York City, and regardless of all the laws that have changed since, you know, over the past year and a half, my e-bike is not even close to legal in New York City. Like, not even close. If they had the ability to actually measure full current output, oh my god, I would I'd probably be behind bias right now. But it is not, it, it, needless to say, that that bike that I ride around in New York City does, is not exactly meet the city's legal limits. But one of the, and I've also been on the other side of this, where in 2016, I had a delivery driver who went through a red light while I was in the crosswalk. He was doing what many of the Arrow 7 and Arrow 9 DoorDash, Grubhub, Seamless people do, which is he went right through the red light at about 30 miles an hour and smashed into my leg. And that gave me a horrible sore. Then he threw food at me. I didn't tear my quadricep from getting hit. I tore it from chasing him out of anger to knock him off the damn bike after he threw food at me for crashing into me when he was the one going through a red light. That ticked me off a lot. So I've been on both ends of this. I've been on the end of saying those people should be in prison, referring to the people that drive like that. And I've been on the ends of, the peop of uh, saying, I don't think that this should be illegal because it's a great way to get around the city. As I said in that video, I can get to work in anywhere from 13 to 25 minutes, depending on whether it's the old shop or the new shop and the traffic that day, versus in a car, I'm looking at a lot of the times at least an hour. Maybe 35 minutes if, I'm, if it's 3 a.m. and there's nobody on the road, but 13 to 25 minutes is my commute on that electric bicycle. It has a much lower environmental impact. It is much less stressful because I'm not dealing with the traffic uh, that, that I usually do. I'm not dealing with the fact that I have a vehicle that's this wide when all I need is a vehicle that's this wide. And it is just more pleasurable to ride. I get to enjoy the weather when it's nice outside and so on and so forth. And I'm, and the, honestly, I've, I've gotten this a lot from people, which is, so, so what do you do? In the short term, honestly, I have no answer. The long term that I have is that when we are raising our children, when we are you know, just mentoring people and teaching people, what my dad told me was be the type of person that nobody wants to make a law for. What that means is the way that you conduct yourself should be in a way where somebody isn't thinking, oh God, that should be illegal, or there should be a law about that. Anytime somebody says there should be a law about that, it tends to be because somebody has been an asshole. And my dad wasn't coming from any sort of anarcho-capitalist standpoint, or hardly anything like that. It was just simply the concept of 
you know, you want to be the type of person where people actually don't believe that they need this type of protection, where they can just trust one another. So for instance, when I'm riding my bike, I've had people comment on this before. When I, you know, I'm go, let's say I'm going in the street and I'm going 25 or 30 miles an hour, I will see people in the crosswalk that actually stop even though the light is red for me. And you know, I, I come to a stop and then the person goes, oh wow, you actually stopped for me. And I'm like, yeah, it's, I mean, it, it's, you're in a crosswalk. The light is red for me. And he goes, yeah, but nobody else does that. You could tell that they're actually surprised. And you know, I've had, you know, I had one guy say, if everybody with an electric bike was like you, I'd actually like them. And you know, I now, to be clear, I don't follow every single rule. Obviously, just the sheer current output capability of my bike, and at the time that it's not just the max speed, but the time it takes to get from zero to twenty-five, it is not legal in New York City at all. But the way that I ride it, I try to ride it in a way where the people that I'm around don't think that I'm some sort of horrible asshole. I will use the bike lane, but if I see that there are people in the bike lane, if you see any of my bike videos, typically I will then go into the street. In fact, I usually try to ride in the street with the cars, and when I am riding in the street with the cars, I try to keep up with them so that they never believe that they have to go around me. That's part of the reason that I want to have a bike that can output as much power as I can so that I can go from zero to 25, which is the speed limit in New York City, very quickly. It's not about having a bike that can go 60 miles an hour. It's about that zero to 25 speed being such that I can keep up with the flow of traffic in a manner that does not bother the cars around me. I want the cars around me to not feel horrible as a result of me being there. I want the people around me to not feel horrible as a result of me being there. I've probably rode on the sidewalk one time in probably three years where there were actual people on it, and when I do that, I will actually walk the bike. I don't use the motor when I'm on a sidewalk, because again, that, that's, that's horrible. Uh, you know, I try to, if, if I am going 25 or 35 miles an hour, I do that in the street, not in a bike lane. If I'm in a bike lane, I try to keep up with everybody else there. I try to think of these things, because I want the other person that is on the other end of this to think, I feel no threat from this. I do not feel like this should be illegal. Anytime somebody says there should be a law about something, it usually is because somebody was an asshole. So what you need to do is be the type of person that makes other people feel comfortable with there not being a law about that. So that essentially starts with you. Every single freedom that you have also comes with responsibility. And if you have the free, if you do want the freedom to be able to ride an electric bike through trails or all around the woods, Technically, that can be dangerous. The same way that technically changing the battery in my phone can be dangerous if I decide to do it with a mace instead of with a, you know, with an isesimal or a pride tool. Um, anything can potentially be dangerous. It really depends on the person, and I tend to be against any sort of limitation on people's freedoms as a result of the fact that something can be dangerous if a small minority of people are assholes. But the way that you deal with that, I don't think it's something that you could fix immediately. I think it's something that you fix generationally by showing your children how things are, showing them all the ridiculous asinine regulations that there may be, or all the ridiculous asinine uh, impingements on your freedom that there are, and explaining to them the reason that all of these rules exist is because somebody was an asshole. So don't be an asshole. If you're not an asshole, we will get to live in a more free world. How do you do that immediately? I don't know. I personally don't believe that you are able to change people. I don't believe that people change. It's been something that I've been criticized for by uh, employees, uh, past girlfriends, family members, uh, old friends, but it's, it's, it's essentially, I don't believe that most people change. I don't, I don't believe that most people even want to change, much less that they can if they wanted to. But I do believe that you can do this by raising, by keeping this in mind for the next generation. Every time you're pissed off that there is a piece of freedom that you don't have, realize it was because somebody was being an asshole. If you're mad that when you're doing work in class, you can't have headphones on, realize that isn't because listening to music while doing your work is bad. It's because somebody decided that they weren't going to listen to the entire lecture. They were going to have their music so loud that it was blaring and everybody was able to hear it. And as a result of that, that student failed. And then when enough of the students failed, the teacher got fired and it reflected poorly on the school district. So they just said, screw it. Nobody can listen to music in class. When in the beginning, maybe nobody cared. So when I would listen to music in class, I'd have my headphone wired up like this, have a black wire, black shirt, have it like this doing my work. And honestly, sometimes my teacher knew that what I was doing was listening to music in class. Sometimes they saw it. And even when they would yell at other classes that they had for having music on, my teacher almost never cared when I had my headphone on because I got decent grades. I respected the teacher. I asked decent questions. I handed him my homework on time. I was not causing him or her any trouble whatsoever. So if I decided that I wanted to just kind of make the day, my eight hours in that prison a little bit less dull by having some I don't know, dream theater or Alice in Chains playing throughout the day, they didn't care. They didn't care. 
rules exist because people are assholes. So if you decide that you are not going to be an asshole and you pass on to your children to not be assholes, then maybe we will live in a world with less asinine rules and less companies that produce bikes that will not allow you to see the error code. Just a theory. I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, that's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.